beautiful new Elante 31V with those gorgeous Jayco blue accents just rolled in here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this is kind of, I think, what I consider the core Class A floor plan. This is really where it all starts and everything else is in some way or fashion just sort of a derivative here of this. Now, if at any point you're curious about important but simple things like um, total length, price tag, tank capacity, stuff like that. I've got a link down here for you YouTube folks. Just check for price and availability. That'll show you what we have, how it's equipped, and what we're asking with current discount packages. Um, I like the Elante. I like the Elante a lot. It's what I call like the working man's bus. It's got the things that make you feel like you're living the good life, but they they appointed it very intelligently. They, this is not just a decontented Jayco precept, which would be the Elante's big brother. It's a smartly appointed Class A. Um, it's it really it has a Class A body with a lot of like Class C sort of um, amenities, but it, it's it's a perfect merger of the two. Um, there are a lot of really cool best-in-class features. There are some things you're going to see here in other Class A buses, but you're not going to see them at this category or price point. There's just a lot of things here that aren't matched. Like, let's start right off the bat with the warranty. Nobody matches Jayco's warranty. You got two years bumper to hitch here just on everything, and that's just a Jayco thing. They do that on everything. Um, if you're looking for uh, additional coverage beyond that, the, the Ford um, chassis that this is on, uh, that has a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty. The Triton uh, V10 6.8-liter power plant, that has a five-year, 60,000 warranty. The torque shift uh, transmission system in this, that has its own five-year, 60,000-mile warranty on it. And you are never, never going to touch the mileage on those warranties because you don't tend to drive a motorhome like you drive a vehicle. You drive the motorhome to its destination, then you unhook your chase vehicle and you drive around with that. Uh, we're going to start up front here with uh, their largest in-class windshield. This is the same windshield they use over at Integra Coach. It is a 120 inch, that's 10 feet for you kids at home, uh, wrap around windshield. Uh, that means that from the start of this all the way around, it's a solid 10 feet. Largest piece of glass in the front of any uh, Class A motorhome out there. There's a few other that'll match it, but nobody even close to this class matches it. Um, they also have the thinnest side beams right here. That means maximum driver visibility. If you've ever had a motorhome and that guy in that little Hyundai is parked right here next to you, hard time seeing him sometimes to make sure you're clear. Or if you're backing into your campsite and you're trying to make sure your nose doesn't swing and hit stuff because I see the lower caps on the front of these motorhomes busted up all the time on trades because people couldn't see where they were turning. You don't have that problem here. You're going to be able to see just fine. Um, the uh, uh, let's move over here. We've got a, a stand the generator standard on this too, which is nice. So you're not paying extra for this, and now because it's standard, it's built into your resale value. So we've got this Onan um, quiet running 4000 generator, park friendly, be able to use your facilities anywhere you want, anytime you want. And these baggage doors are super thick, heavy duty, well insulated, so they help shield inside from outside. And even if it's a small space, they did not waste an ounce of space in all this uh, basement storage skirting area right here. Um, all the hinges and everything, everything is just sharp, spot on exactly where it needs to be. This is where Jayco Class A motorhomes start, but even here they have a whole high gloss exterior finish. Very sharp looking stuff. Um, the uh, slide awning protectors there, that's going to do wonders toward uh, protecting your investment long term to keeping this thing in good shape. Um, the uh, side mirrors on here, standard. Again, we're not paying extra for this. This is just what Jayco wants for safety purposes. They have the built-in side uh, cameras here on your mirrors so that when you flip your left or right turn blinker, the appropriate camera kicks on and activates on your uh, displays on the uh, like backup monitoring system so that you can see. Uh, uh, cross breeze windows over here on your bedroom slide. That's something that not everything in this price point is going to give you. A one piece fiberglass roof. A lot of coaches at this price point you'll start to see a traditional like towable fifth wheel style rubberized roofing. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is just a little bit nicer. The idea is that it's seamless and it's going to hold up a little bit better. Um, you see back here, go, go ahead sir. No, you're here to look. Go ahead. Appreciate it. No, that's very kind of you. You're here to look. Have a good time. Um, the uh, hitching back here, obviously all set up with your tow package to pull your little chase vehicles. You, I wouldn't even imagine a motorhome being built without that. Uh, they add that third brake light right there. It's another Jayco safety thing. They're not required to do that. They could save a couple bucks here and there. And all those little things Jayco's do add up. Like, look at the size of this awning. They could not have put a bigger awning on it. 
They used every ounce of space they possibly could. And even here on a precept, if you look real close, it's got a flex fabric guarded awning. You see that shiny skin on there. What that's doing is it's wrapping that awning. Um, it's, it's, you know, it, it's like the aluminum tube shielded awnings that you often see out there, but um, it, it actually squeezes the awning better. It helps keep water from blowing down that tube and sitting there. Even on an Elante, we still have a nice outside entertainment center, and it's right under your awning. Wouldn't you happen to see that here? Great outside storage, and that's another thing. Uh, you really get on a Class A motorhome versus a Class C. The light, dark contrast of the, the white skin and the, the black uh, areas in here, it might be hard to kind of see what I'm pointing at, but hopefully you can understand. Total separate outside entertainment center too. You have your own Furion AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player, its own speakers, its own TV, you have true dual zone interior exterior entertainment. Smart little stuff too. They didn't have to do this at this price point, but they did. The battery tray can slide out for ease of access and for swapping. Um, What's nice here, usually with Class A motorhomes, you don't get any level of pass-through storage. Now, because you do have a drivetrain, uh, a drive shaft that runs through here, you do uh, have a reduced pass-through storage as compo uh, compared to a rear diesel pusher, but you have a measure of pass-through storage. Many, most, Class A's don't have any. That's a nice thing you're getting here. Dual power entry step, a lot of brands at this price point have a single. So again, it's not that, oh my gosh, you know, you're, you're wasting time talking about a dual step. Compare it against the other things in its classification and you see the differences here. This has a lot of the features of, of the loaded up coaches in a more simplified package. They upgraded the things that matter. You're gonna use that every day, multiple times a day. Uh, probably at least twice a day when you leave and when you come back, but if not more. They also put a huge window in this entry door, and that they share with the Big Brother Precept. They didn't scale that down to spend less money on an Elante, because windows matter, light matters. And remember that nobody matches the warranty of this thing. Uh, moving inside, it continues to not disappoint. And by the way, I do try to, um, if, if provided I remember, I haven't forgotten yet this year, uh, I, I like to close the slides on the motorhomes that I feature so that you get to see what they look like with the slides closed when you're traveling. This is probably one of the best traveling motorhomes I've seen too. The, the floor plan's very 100% functional. I really like that. Um, but before we get that far along, I also want to mention the one we have in stock could be somehow different from the one in this video. The uh, coach in this video is not necessarily the exact one we have in stock. Could be, I don't know. But the one we have in stock might have a different fabric decor. Like this has this very nice vanilla looking decor here. Some might have like a dark brown instead of light brown. I don't know. There goes another Elante leaving right now. Look at that. Um, so uh, let me back up here. We've got like, what, seven foot ceilings. So we've got huge interior clearance. We get that nice uh, wide open space. Fantastic LED lighting package in here. Uh, when the Elante first came out, one of the things that they made different from Precept is they didn't have good LED lighting. That was a mistake. They recognized that. They've, they've adjusted. They've fixed that. This also has a 22,000 BTU air system, which is really nice. It's got twin 11,000 BTU centralized air conditioners. And, and again, that's why they have that 4,000 generator to give you full service anytime, anywhere. I also like that they left overhead storage in a lot of places that you would otherwise tend to lose it. And uh, you'll notice too that um, a lot of your small little light areas here, they have little accent switches for these and they have little accessory plugs. So if you're sitting right here and you wanna play on your phone on a rainy day, you can do that. Um, the, uh, let's see here. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, the overhead bunk. This is an option. This is kind of where this thing can fulfill the role of a class C for those who want a class A. During the daytime, we just have this nice wide open space. And really this, the cab, is the number one area this truly differs from a Class C coach. Because otherwise you can get basically the same living room and bedroom arrangement in a Class C. But you gain this extra four foot roughly of living and seating space in a Class A that a Class C can't match. Because we have these twin swivel chairs. In an Elante, this is a manual uh, and we have a, a six way power captain's chair over here. Still leatherette, still pretty plush and nice though. Um, you know, you gain this extra little uh, table in the middle here, your little co-pilot table, if you will. Uh, very handy for, uh, you know, obviously just having an extra table for guests when you get to your destination. Um, you know, everybody gets their own little armrests and fun little things like that. Chairs can swivel and pivot, so, you know, if you want to turn it all the way and lock it in place, you can do that. Uh, everything kind of really, let me twist this so you can see. Everything really wraps around the driver here, too. This is your uh, entertainment center over here. 
Um, and again, that is your backup monitor. That's your side camera monitors. Does all kinds of stuff. You notice how everything sort of wraps around the driver. It's very driver centric, so you can keep your eyes on the road, including nice little phone charging ports and everything down there. This does have full leveling system. We do have a power front shade. You can see that right here. Um, you can drop this front shade and you have manual side shades. If you want to blot out the sun for privacy, you can do that. Um, let me uh, actually roll that down just a little bit more. You have heated side mirrors too, which is a nice thing. If you are going to be somewhat cold camping, uh, you'll enjoy that. If I spin this back around here, roughly facing us, the benefit of this here is uh, we've got an extra sleeping space for guests and grandkids that a normal class A just otherwise couldn't have. And it actually goes down further, but you get the idea. This is a really nice area for that power front shade. There's a reason I dropped it like that so you can see up here. If I'm shooting directly into the glass, you can't see it. There's also a ladder that's included, so you don't have to throw the grandkids or the kids up there. So it doesn't really matter if you're looking for a couple's experience or, uh, you know, grandkid camping on occasion. That you don't really lose anything with this option. That's why we put it in there. It's a little bit of no money. It doesn't really affect your price tag anything significantly. If you're on a payment basis, maybe a buck. Not, I mean, it just doesn't even affect things. But what we get here is this extra sleeping space, or you could always pull the mattress out and you could just use it for storage instead. And this is a fairly thick mattress. I mean, it's, it's not like you're skimping here either. And then when you're done with it, you just push the button. And there is a little key lock on it so that if you want to keep the grandkids from crushing one another, you can do that. Or we've had folks who go hunting, fishing, whatever, they've taken the mattress out and they've used this as a gun safe or a place to put fishing poles. And then they can pull the key and it's sort of, you know, like I said, like a gun safe in that respect. Um, spinning us around here, pardon me. Whoa, <laughs> almost slipped on the steps. That slippery little piece of carpet about got me. Obviously I don't script my stuff and I don't edit videos. That'll go on the blooper highlights at the end of the year. <laughs> Nice windows, good cross breeze, and we have nicer pleated shades here versus like the metal mini blinds. So you're getting, again, a lot of the things shared with the big precepts. Um, over here, the uh, you'll, you'll notice extra seat belts in your Jayco's. They don't have to put seat belts there. They don't have to put seat belts on rear facing seating. They choose to. But understand that when they add something like that, that is DOT, federally regulated, they're opening themselves up to a ton of liability. So they pull test their seatbelts to 10% more than the required value by the government. Family safety is a concern here. I've seen other coaches, the, guys, uh, the, the customer told me, well, the one down the street, I'm not here to name names, I'm not here to sling mud, we get enough of that in political season. Lord knows at the time of this filming, we're getting more than enough of that. Good Lord, I, can't hope, I just can't wait for this election to be over. Anyway, um, so uh, the guy, he said, well, the guy down the street said he could, they could add seat belts. I said, okay, how do you get them pull tested? Tell me where you do that. And he looked at me. I said, I want you to grab your cell phone right now and call that salesman. So he did. And the salesman goes, oh, well, I don't know. Because nobody knows. I mean, <laughs> nobody knows where to do that. Here's another nice thing. Other than just in your cab area, your main living quarters here, this is all carpetless. Because this is an above floor slide out. So that means that you don't have to have carpet here for it to grind on. This is what's called the Jayco Dream Dinette. This has uh, been around for a long time, but it's simple and easy. You just twist this little thing to unlock it. And when you want it down for a sleeper, there you go. Then you just sort of pull your cushions on top of it. When you're done with it and you're ready to get back to using it, you're all set there too. Reach down, relock it. That's all there is to it. It also means for guys like me with long legs, I've got space for my legs in here. Um, kitchen. We've talked a lot about a lot of things. We haven't talked kitchen yet. Let's do that. This thing has a great kitchen. You can see that uh, you've got great overhead storage. Your Blu-ray player and everything is up there above the TV. And the TV is directly across from the slide. Your primary seating spaces are on Boardwalk and Park Place for viewing here. Um, you've got good countertop space in this too. Because you've got nothing but cabinets, they had nothing to do but put counter space there. But they put a really aggressive, real backsplash in so you can actually use this thing for prep space. Good storage going on in here. All kinds of good drawer space. you notice it's not particle board with a sticker wrap. They didn't try to get cute and cheap. They're still using nice stainless sinks. They didn't go chintz there. If you listen, you know, real metal, not plastic that looks like nickel. Handy pull-out sprayer faucets. Everything you need. And at a good sufficient grade, they didn't chintz on anything here. That's what I like about this. Um, let me close all this back up before I'm like backing up and not paying attention and trip on something again. Eight cubic foot fridge and freezer. Um, there, there is an ability to upgrade this floor plan to a different refrigerator, but 
you lose your pantry over here. And I don't like giving up storage space in anything. The storage is so valuable in any coach. We did not want to sacrifice that. Very traditional walk-through middle bathroom here. Um, something that you've seen a hundred times in motorhomes, but just because you've seen it doesn't mean it isn't really good and effective. This is an awesome bathroom arrangement that just continues to perform year after year after year. Um, the uh, doors obviously lock in place to give you privacy there. Um, you know, very sufficient bath here, and I like that we do have a sink right here in this bathroom, so you don't have to use the kitchen sink after you're done using the bathroom. Twin floating style mirrors give you like a his and hers vanity for lots of bathroom storage. And that open shelving and all the space down here, you can keep all your shampoos and toilet papers and everything right in here where it belongs. Bedroom master suite. All these drawers are pulled out. We still have room to walk around the bed. This is a true queen, 60 by 80. And here's my favorite part about it. They built on these side stands with power outlets right next to them. If you're like me and you like to fiddle with your phone at night during pillow time, I like this. I really, really, really like this. You've got the headboard cross breeze windows. We've got good storage above the bed because these are not just here for fancy looks. These are here for real work and storage. And then you turn around and uh, you just, you're like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. This is the exact same bedroom arrangement that they have in the Big Brother Luxury Precept Class A type thing. It's just loaded. You got a, a massive his and hers closet. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. You've got like nine drawers in here, plus that little pocket there, plus up here. So I guess you could say nine to 11, depending on how you want to slice it, drawers. You're just, you've got the storage. If you want to go long term uh, RVing, you can do that. Now, before I forget, let me close everything up. I'm going to try to run the slides closed. That might be a little boring watching everything go. These are really aggressive latches, by the way. You got to be kind of friendly with them. But that's so that they don't, once you have this thing loaded with like your sweaters, they don't want it bouncing open going down the road. Now, do they? Make sure I got everything closed. I don't want to break anything. That's a lesson you learn in this business. <laughs> Everything looks like we're clear in here. Make sure, I do believe the chair can stay right where it's at. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it just to be safe. Just to be safe. I'm pretty sure it can stay there, but I don't wanna take a chance when I can't line of sight it. Okay, so we're gonna run some slides closed. This is gonna be the terribly not exciting portion of this video. So I'm gonna take a moment to thank you for hanging with me. It's been 17 minutes and 13 seconds at the time of uh, this mention. And, um, you know, we are uh, Michigan's largest independent RV dealer. We do hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing. I don't care if you have a fifth wheel you want to trade in or, or what your situation is. You don't, that's not a folding mattress, by the way. This is, it fold, it, it meets right up against those. Um, you know, I don't care where you live. This is on wheels. So whether uh, you come here or, or we bring it to you, doesn't matter. You know, we, we welcome any sort of business and we are equipped to handle pretty much everything, guys. And there she is. That's all there is going down the road. It, this is a wide, like, if this did not have a slide, it would still be an awesome RV. Uh, and that's really what this is. This is a classic no slide floor plan. You've seen this floor plan before if you start looking at like 1990s motorhomes. It's just, they gave it a slide out. That's all it had to be. It didn't have to be anything crazy or exciting. It's just a really awesome, effective camper. It's like a, uh, um, oops, I locked myself in here. I do that so that I don't get any surprise people while I'm in the coach. I, I scared a lady once. Anyway, um, give you a quick outside view here, and then we're gonna wrap ourselves up again. Thank you so much for staying with us, guys. Appreciate it very much. Um, I think I'm, I'm actually out of things to say. I've done so many of these videos, I've never actually run out of something to say before, but by God, it just happened. Put that on your calendar. <laughs> All right, take care, stay safe, have fun. Happy camping, everybody.